what happened in the early days of humanity and how did our ancestors interact with Neanderthals. DNA analysis of a 45,000-year-old human now reveals some of the secrets about early humans outside Africa. A team of researchers led by Savante Pebo of the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, Germany has successfully decoded the genes in an ancient leg bone that was found in 2008 on the banks of a river in western Siberia. Based on their genetic analysis, the researchers determined that the bone belonged to a man who lived about 45,000 years ago, making him the oldest modern human ever to have their DNA sequenced. The Siberian man's genome suggests he lived close in time to when the ancestors of present-day people in Europe and East Asia went their different ways after expanding out of Africa. The findings also add strong support to the hypothesis that humans interbred with Neanderthals and offer more clues about when that happened. The genome extracted from the bone showed that the Siberian man carried about 2% Neanderthal DNA. That's a similar amount found in many present-day Europeans and East Asians. But what struck the scientists was that the strands of Neanderthal DNA in the Siberian man were much longer than those seen in people alive today. The findings suggest that humans mixed with Neanderthals and reproduced between 50,000 and 60,000 years ago. The discoveries are illuminating, but there are still many unsolved mysteries about human pioneers. For example, one hotly debated question is when exactly Neanderthals went extinct and why?